Hey, Aaron. Hey, Michaela, what's up? Can you send me your slides with the updates for the meeting today? Oh, all of that is up to date in Airtable. Okay, but can you put them in the deck? No, no, the whole deck is in Airtable. Welcome to Tool Tips, where every week we discover new and surprising ways to use Airtable. Today, I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite tips, how to automatically generate meeting decks and present them right from Airtable. With Page Designer, you can create a custom layout for displaying any record in your Airtable base, then print it or present it right from the app. It's great for building catalogs, invoices, call sheets, and much more, including this meeting deck I've built here for a weekly status meeting around my team's marketing campaigns. Let's break it down on how to build your own meeting deck with Page Designer. First, you want to make sure that your base is prepped and ready. Then build the foundation of your slides and in the fun part, make it look good. My biggest tip for thinking about building with Page Designer is to remember that each page is a record. That means whatever you want to be displayed on a single slide, a project, a list of agenda items, or in this case, a campaign, needs to live in its own record. Here, I've got my campaigns table all set up with each individual campaign in its own record. Now I'm going to take these campaigns and visualize them in my slide deck. When you install a page designer app, you'll want to start by customizing the defaults. This is a printable page size, but I'm going to adjust the dimensions to work well for a slide deck. I like 1020 by 600 for this. Next, I can start dragging and dropping the elements I want to show on each slide. I'll bring in the campaign name, status, owner, and goal and start rearranging them where I want them to show up. I'm also going to add in some labels with the text element and I'll make these a bit bolder than the other elements. Next, I want to bring in the marketing objectives for each campaign so we can keep those front and center during our meetings. When I drop this field on, it looks a little different because it's a linked record. What this allows me to do is pull in any fields from the linked objectives table and customize a mini grid of these records. I'll bring the key results here, and I'll do the same thing with deliverables, bring in the status and the priority. When I page through the slides here, you can see that all of these details are being pulled in for each individual campaign. Now that this slide deck shows the information we need, why don't we add some bells and whistles? One easy trick to up-level your page designer layout is to add some color. You can add in a new image element and set the background to be filled with any color you like. Resize it and drop it where you want it. I'll move it to the background so it's not hiding anything. Now let's add a simple border to divide the OKRs and deliverables section. And this is looking good. Now I can hit present on this deck anytime. It's always ready to go with the latest updates right in Airtable. Try playing around with Page Designer on your own and let us know in the comments what you end up building. I'll see you next week for another episode of Tooltips.